All right, so day two of an extended water fast. My goal is to experience hunger for the first time and experience thirst for the first time. I've yet to experience neither of those and I'm 39 years old. Secondary goal is to heal my body. I have certain symptoms that I've been building up over time and I'm trying to um, consume them through fasting. And I came to this decision after reading the Bible where Jesus talks about some demons can only be removed through prayer and fasting. And also because people that I respect have done it. Moses did it twice, 40 days, two times. And then he was given a, a revelation of, you know, the book of Genesis, what occurred before he was ever born. And then um, Jesus did it before he began his ministry as well. So now this is day two, and what happened last night, I had a good night's sleep, I had uh, night sweats, and now I wanted to talk a little bit about night sweats. Night sweats occur during the healing phase. When your body is getting rid of something it no longer needs, then it uses tuberculosis bacteria to break it down. So if you have a tumor or something in your body that needs to be decomposed, that happens with tuberculosis bacteria. And in that process, some, uh, sometimes you will have a night sweat. So if you wake up and you're feeling sweaty, then you know that your body is in a healing phase and that you healed something last night. And that's what happened to me last night. So something healed and I'm feeling good. When you're in a healing phase, sometimes you'll have low energy because your body's telling you to slow down and take a rest and things of that nature. I haven't had low energy. I've, energy's been pretty high. Um, been spending my time recently trying to prepare for taxes because it, taxes are getting more complex. And so um, things are going good. Day two, I'll post a link that explains the healing symptoms so when you, the, the, one of the principles of Jim and New Medicine is every disease is two phases, one where the conflict is active and what will happen is that your, your body will have a, take on a growth or something will, or an ulceration, something will change in your body when the conflict is active, then there's a resolution. And so you've come to a solution to that conflict and then now your body is able to enter the healing phase. And so I've talked about multiple healing phases in past videos that I've had recently in, involving kidney parenchyma and the kidney collecting tubules. And with the kidney collecting tubules, one symptom of the healing is cloudy urine. And with the parenchyma, it's, um, it's a, a burning sensation and a discharge when you urinate. Okay, so those things happened to me recently. And that's good news. It means that these conflicts that I had in the past have been resolved and now my body is healing. And likewise, the night sweat, I don't know right now exactly which, which part of my body changed. I don't have a, an ability to do a CT scan. If I had an ability to do a CT scan, you can tell because everything that is happening in the body is in the brain. And the so the brain is basically uh, another view on the body. So anything that each particular point in the brain serves a different function in the body. And when you have a, a CT scan, you can see what's going on in different parts of the brain, right? So I'm not at that level. I don't have a, an ability to do a CT scan of myself, nor really read those scans well yet. But if I had the ability to do that, I, I would get more information. So I requested the CT scan from from the last place I had a CT scan done. That's a bit of a, it's a process. I had to send in a form, sign a waiver and whatnot. And now they have to receive the letter and then they'll send me the scan and then I can open the scan and see it, but that's not going to be the scan. Most recent scan that's going to be scanned from months ago. So um, they're very useful. The CT scans are very useful if you know how to read them and they can be read. Many people know how to read them. I have, people that know how to read them. So once I get that scan, I can 
find out what's going on in my body. In terms of the fast, though, fast is carrying on day two. And last time I went until day 14. The goal for this year is to do 41 days. So we'll see how far I go. Hopefully I can go to 41 days this time. If I have a healing crisis and I need to eat protein, then I'll eat the protein. I'm not going to um, starve myself. I just want to fast. Although I've yet to experience hunger last time I started eating because I realized, you know what, what's going on right now with all these symptoms? I need to support my body as it heals. All right, that's it for this day two update. I am keeping this video so I have some record of what's going on as I heal myself of a brain tumor and um, prepare myself to live an excellent 2022. God bless you all.